welcome, my name is Lexi Chong and here I like to talk about luxury makeup. And every other Sunday, I do a series called Nailed It with a question mark, where a group of us, and everybody's listed down below in the description box, we all take a look and we use it for inspiration to try to recreate it using products that we already have, or you know, we use it for inspiration in some way. So today we are doing a look from Nikki Wolf. If you are not familiar with Nikki Wolf, she is a very famous a celebrity makeup artist. She's Dior's celebrity makeup artist. She goes by Nikki Makeup. So if you Google Nikki Makeup, you'll see, you know, she's she's everywhere. She's done a lot of work for print magazines and everything. She's fantastic. And she created this look that was inspired by the 70s using all like lavenders and purple eyeshadows. So that is what we are going to be using for inspiration today. And it just, it looks very spring-like. You've got kind of this beachy, glowy vibe skin, and then this gorgeous soft lavender eye look. And it's kind of like all over. I am a little nervous. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not really somebody who puts on eyeshadow in quite a large area. So we'll see how it goes. And I do apologize for any of the background noise. There's a whole bunch of like yard work and construction going on in my neighborhood right now. So sorry about that. Um, let's go ahead and we are gonna get started. First step, dewy skin. All right, so we are gonna start off with the Dior Forever Skin Veil Primer. And you can see that it has a color to it, but it doesn't actually impart any color on my skin. However, it's very, very moisturizing and it does help kind of give that glue, um, dewy look to the skin. So I could actually go in with maybe an illuminator or something to add a little extra glow. Um, let's see. All right, I think I'm gonna take the By Terry. This is the Brightening CC Serum. This is the white one in Immaculate Light. And I'm just gonna take this is about three fourths of a pump. I'm gonna put this on the cheeks. And it looks like her chin's pretty highlighted as well. Put a little on the forehead. So I have it pretty much all over. All right, so just a little bit of extra shine for that area. By the way, the By Terry CC serums, they're really nice to give you a little bit more subtle luminosity compared to like the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter and things like that. So you can see it gives you more of a subtle shine that peeks through under through foundation, or you can use it, you know, as a straight up highlight and so forth. So I really like them. Just note that, you know, as with pretty much all By Terry products, they have that very strong rose scent. So if you don't like that, you're not gonna like the product. All right, for foundation today, I'm gonna go in with the Merit Complexion Stick. I have a shade Silk. I'm gonna put a little bit of this just here on the cheeks to kind of help disguise some of the redness. And I'm gonna use my fingers to kind of blend this. Just want a little bit of coverage here, so I'm not gonna like pile this on. So I am gonna use foundation. And I'm going to use this for the under eye concealer today also. All right, just going to add a little bit more to the cheeks. I have to say I'm still really enjoying this complexion stick and how well it blends out, how seamlessly it looks. I'm gonna bring you in closer so you can see what my skin looks like right now before we add the foundation. All right, so you can see that it really provides coverage without looking like I have product on there. It's very natural looking. So I'm really enjoying the stick. We're gonna go in with the Givenchy Prisma Libra foundation. I have shade one and 95. You can see it's a thinner foundation. I'm gonna be using the Surratt foundation brush today. So just gonna dab a little bit here and I'm gonna kind of stipple this on. And I wanted to go with this one because it has a little bit of a glow, but it's very natural and skin-like looking. So I'm really kind of enjoying how it looks on my skin. It's reminiscent to me of the Chantecaille Future Skin 
but with a little extra glow. And when I say future skin, I mean the, the gel, the one in the pot, not the um, cushion. So there's the side with the foundation versus without. And just using up the very last bit on my hand here. All right, so I think this is good for the base. We're gonna move on to the eyes and then we'll come back and do the cheeks and the lip. And the cheeks and the lip, you know, they look like a really soft, kind of like a, a soft peachy shade. And again, they look creamy and dewy. So we'll finish that off afterwards. Let's move on to the eyes. All right, so I have the Viseart eye primer on my eyes. We're gonna use the Viseart Violette palette. I'm going into the purple matte shade with the Refer 16. And I'm going all the way up to the brow with this. So next, I might wanna deepen the crease a little bit. So I'm gonna go into the Natasha Denona. This is the big 28 Pam Purple Blue palette. And this shade is 28V Electric Violet. So just getting some on the Refer 14 and adding this into the crease. All right, so now I'm going back in with the Refer 16 and I'm just going to kind of blend the crease area a little bit, kind of buff out a little bit of the deeper shakes and see it's not that noticeable when I have my eye fully open. So I'm just going to kind of buff that out just a touch. I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little bit more of this shade using the Refer 14 and just bring it down a little bit because it looks like she's got a little bit more on the actual lid as well. And then there's like a, a more periwinkle lavender shade kind of covering part of that. Okay, and then buffing that again with the 16. Going back with the 16 in the Viseart Lavender Matte. And just going to kind of bring that up a little bit higher now. Just a little bit deeper. So for the lid, I don't have quite the right shade. So we're going to do a mix of this one here in the Viseart, and this is Dior 22. I'm going to use this Wisteria shade. So we're going to, let's see how they look. So I've got kind of a mix here. And yeah, I think we're going to go with this mix. So I've got a bit of both shadows on the Isom W21. And let's just see how this works. We're going to put this all over the mobile lid. I really like the color combination here. I think this is a good color. And I like how you can still see some of this crease shade peeking through a touch. All right, for the inner corner that's a little bright, I'm gonna go in with this shade in the Sean Takai La Chrome Luxe Eye Duo in Piazza San Marco. And I'm gonna kind of arch this up under the brow here. So I'm just gonna take the Refer 16 and kind of buff that shade a little bit under the brow. All right, for the lower lash line, I'm taking the Chantecaille Eye Blend Brush and I'm gonna use that same mix of Viseart and Dior Shadows. Okay. 
So I wiped off the eye blend brush. I'm gonna go into this light shade in the Chantecaille again with the eye blend and I'm gonna start in the center here and just kind of add that on top. I'm gonna feather that out a little bit more. So I wiped off the brush and now I'm just gonna kind of blend this a little bit lower using the brush uh, more vertically. Okay, I'm gonna take some water with the Esam W21. So I just got the brush a little damp. I'm gonna go into this light shade here again, and I'm gonna just kind of paint this on the upper lash line here, just for a little extra radiance. And just dabbing the inner corner there as well. All right, so that is it for the eyeshadow, and then it looks like she has black liquid liner and a little bit of a wing on the outer corner. So let me try that. I'm taking the Surratt liquid eyeliner and I'm just gonna, I'm not great at this. So I'm just taking the Esam T09 and just stretching that out just a touch. Okay, I'm gonna add some mascara. I'll see you in a second. I use the Lancome Lash Edol mascara today. All right, so there's the eye look up close. And let's move on to blush and lips. Actually, first we're gonna add a little contour. I'm taking the Burberry Essentials Glow in this deeper brown shade. I'm just gonna use my foundation brush to blend that out. Add a little bit more. I have to say that shade always looks so scary and then I love the effect. For blush, I'm taking the Cure Weiss Cream Blush in Blossoming. I'm gonna use the foundation brush again for this. I'm just gonna dip it in here directly and let's put this on. I just, I love this blush because it's so natural looking on the skin and it blends so nicely and it lasts, at least on my skin. Just gonna add a touch more over here. And then for highlight, taking Ritual Defeat and Ice Bow I'm just gonna use my finger here and I'm tracing the contour here. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of this right under the brow here. Just kind of make that a little bit more glisteny. All right, so I think, you know, her, her, shin, her chin looks a little shiny, but we're gonna, gonna leak that. That's probably just the way the light hits it. So let me do my brows and then we'll find a peachy lip color. For brows, I'm just gonna take the Surratt. This is the new brow pomade. I'm just gonna brush them up. Oops. All right, so we have a few options here. We have the Chantecaille Lip Chic in Peach Blossom. So that definitely has a nice peachy vibe. But then I also thought of these two Givenchy lipsticks. This is the Rouge Interdit formula in number three, Urban Nude. So it's this one here. And this is number two, Serial Nude. I think I'm actually gonna do a mix of Cereal Nude and Peach Blossom. Okay, and I'm gonna go in with the Chanel 
This is the Lip Liner 154 Peachy Nude. Just do a quick outline before I add Peach Blossom. And the reason I want to add Peach Blossom on the top is it has a bit more of that glossy look. Hmm. I don't know if I like this color on me. I'm going to be back and we shall see. All right, so I think this color is just a little bit too peachy. I'm going to blot this and add something more nude on top. So I'm going to take the Chanel Rouge Coco Gloss in 722, add this on top. Okay, I think that is a better color match. And this is my final look. So let me know what you think of this look and whether or not I nailed it or failed it. And again, don't forget all participants for this week's Nailed It Challenge are down below in the description box. If you're interested in trying this look and you would like me to share your photo in the next video, please be sure to let me know. You can DM me on Instagram. I'm at Alexis Zhang. And thank you so much for joining me. I think this look was a lot of fun. And it's definitely more eye makeup than I usually wear, but I kind of like it. It's, it's fun to do something like this for a change. And it's really fun to kind of go through everything that I have and try to get, you know, just the right color. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a great day. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. I'll see you very soon and stay safe and healthy.